Okay, so I don't get many Frontier snow plows in. This is a loader mounted snow plow, came in on a 2025R. Could also use this on a 1025R, 1023E, that size tractor, a one or two series, okay? And so I have these new Tar River loader mounted plows as well. And so I thought I would do a side by side comparison, okay? And so I can see some pros and cons either way, but I wanted to kind of give you that visual so you could see the Tar River loader mounted plow blade, snow plow, okay, versus the Frontier loader mounted snow plow all right and so you can see there's a, a um a decent difference in construction okay there's going to be a a lot more steel that's going on back here versus the very simplistic design up here and so i can see twofold with that all right and so i mean i can come here and i can pick this this plow up one-handed okay so it's obviously significantly lighter if i try to do that same thing here i'm going to struggle in fact you know it takes both hands everything i can do there to lift that up and so that's twofold right so maybe um maybe you want a lighter plow on the front end of your tractor on a, on a subcompact or a compact but maybe you want a heavier one you know i i can see it both ways you know lighter is generally what you think of when you think of pallet forks grapples that kind of thing on smaller tractors right and heavier you know is that more weight to push around well yeah it is but does that kind of give it momentum once you're moving and, and does it feel more robust and rugged and, and going to stand the test of time, especially with some of the, the torque that can get put on, on plows and the frames and things like that. If you hit a curb, hit a, a rock, a boulder, or a, a whatever that's hiding underneath the surface there. So I can see it either way, um, but really this isn't bashing it one way or another. This is just a look at two loader mounted plows, both 60 inch, both for the John Deere quick attach that you can use on your tractor. And so I thought it would be a convenient exercise just to give you that little spin around of of these two blades here and, and the differences and uh, what they have to offer so the tar river plow is actually so new that they don't even have a spec sheet out to share with me yet so i had to kind of get some um, word of mouth information from my distributor from the manufacturer and uh, i'm told this weighs 325 350 pounds for the tar river snow plow um, looking it up online i can see that the frontier 60 inch snow plow here set up the way it is right now weighs 171 pounds and so you're almost double the weight uh, with this tar river plow versus the frontier plow so looking up pricing online you know the tar river i'm selling these in the 60 inch variant for 1400 dollars this year the frontier version i found this price online in, in a few different locations uh, the lowest price was 14.99 all the way up to about 1650 dollars and so there's a little bit of variance there so you're 100 to 250 dollars more for this plow than you are for this plow while this weighs half the amount and this has double the amount of steel essentially so take that for what you will again i see benefits to both perhaps being lighter um, and being more beneficial on smaller tractors i can see that being the case then again i can see this being more robust perhaps um, more rugged construction long term that's going to prevent any kind of torquing or twisting and maybe help get that momentum going as you are plowing so if we take a look at the uh, the channeling the bracing you know the structure of the back end of the frontier you can see it right here and if we pop over and take a look at that same structure that framing and everything else you can see right here on the tar river it's quite more substantial uh, quite a bit more substantial and, and uh, therefore adding to that weight if you take a look at the springs here you can see these kind of the trip springs you know so if you hit something and it pops forward it'll spring back into place over here in the tar river you can see what they have as well and these are adjustable there's a, uh, a nut right here where you can adjust the the tension on there and you see there's a one on the other side as well another thing coupled along with those springs are going to be these dampers here and so if that blade does go forward when it releases and comes back 
it whacks those and really dampens the, the impact. I don't see a built-in parking stand of any kind on uh, this Frontier. I don't know if it came with one and just they didn't get traded in with one or not, but here's a parking stand that's on the Tar River as well. And again, you'll have to pardon my ignorance, I don't see anywhere that you can add on a uh, hydraulic angling kit. I have to imagine that you can and perhaps, well, perhaps it's uh, going to be from here to those holes there or from over here to here. I don't know for sure. Um, I would think you have to be able to add on a hydraulic angling kit. Over here in the Tar River, you can see the brackets to add on that hydraulic angling kit. So here's one, and then if we kind of tuck down here, you can see there's the two other brackets right there underneath. You also have the hose holder right here as well. One thing I really like about the Frontier are these skid shoes that are down here. These are very nice, big wide discs on there. If you take a look over at the Tar River, that's the one thing I would perhaps like to see a little bit larger. Manual angle is going to be very similar on both. You just have a pin down here that you can pull out, adjust the angle manually. You'll see that over here as well. The Tar River actually has two pins, a top right there and a bottom down here, okay? So I got to sell both these plows, right? And so I got to sell this used Frontier that I got here and I got to sell this new Tar River that I got here as well. The point of this is just to give you a side-by-side -side comparison, let you decide for yourself what you'd like to go with. Thanks so much for watching. If you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page. Make sure you check out my other videos. Don't forget, you can check the website, goodworkstractors.com. Constantly rotating inventory of tractors and attachments on there. Always appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.